Hello everyone, I'm excited to be joining you to kick off a new series in our discipleship project. This series is entitled A Living Sacrifice, and this week we're going to be looking at what a sacrifice is. It's important for us to understand that because Jesus shed his blood as the perfect sacrifice on Calvary, it's important, it's critical for us to apply his blood to our life as a covering. So as we start this lesson, we're going to be looking into the book of Exodus a little bit. And if you look into Exodus, you will see the story of Moses and the children of Israel being delivered from the land of Egypt and Pharaoh's rule. And if you look at this, you know, you can see the different plagues that had come that God had sent on the land. And you see that, you know, what would become known as the Passover, where God instructed Moses to, to tell the people, you know, you're going to roast this lamb, you're going to put the blood on your doorposts, your lentils, and you're going to stay inside because the destroyer is going to come. So these instructions were given to the people of Israel, and they followed these instructions. And no doubt the smell of roasted lamb was heavy in the air that night. And, you know, if you had walked through the area, you would probably have wondered, you know, what's going on? There's blood on the doorposts, and just obviously something is up. So the children of Israel were staying inside of their homes and, and waiting for what exactly, you know, maybe they didn't know exactly why they were waiting. But as midnight came, no doubt they were awakened by the cries of fear and anguish and just heartbreak all across the land as people discovered that the firstborns of their family were now deceased, that the destroyer had come as God said it would come. The cries even rang out from the palace, and we see that Pharaoh finally said, Moses, get out. Get the people and get out of the land. Moses and Aaron didn't have to rally the Israelites to leave. The terrified Egyptians were already pouring out of the doors just saying, get out, get out, take our jewelry, take our gold, just get out. We don't want you here anymore, just as God said they would. This great company of Israelites began to move out, joyful but hardly believing what was, what was happening. I mean, imagine being in slavery for hundreds and hundreds of years and then finally be told, just, just get out. Take everything that we have and get out. You know, you'd be excited, but you'd be a little bit kind of maybe tentative or questioning as well. But we see that, you know, maybe they couldn't help but look back at their homes, the center of their lives of slavery, and there it was. The sign of their salvation was visible in the moonlight. Dark streets of blood stained the doorposts and the lintels of each home. Thank God for the blood. From first to last, the Israelites' deliverance from Egyptian slavery was God's gracious work on their behalf. After many long years of toil, the people of Israel groaned because of their slavery and cried out for help. Their cry for rescue from slavery came up to God, and God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and God saw the people of Israel, and God knew. As with all of his labors, God worked out their deliverance according to the counsel of his own will and his own plan. At the right time, God's time. With the fresh cry of suffering from his people came up to him, he heard. He remembered his covenant with their forefathers. He saw his people suffering and he knew. He knew them and their pain and he knew it was time to save them. Now we don't live in that old day, but I'm sure we can all attest to how we felt under the weight of slavery of sin on our lives. Or maybe you are still there this morning and you know, as you go through this lesson, hopefully it will help you to understand more. But I am so thankful for the blood that was shed on Calvary, that blood that was given to cover my sin, to lift that weight of sin off of my life. I hope that as you go through the rest of your day today, the evening, wherever you are, where, whenever you're listening to this video, that you will remember the price that was paid on Calvary, that you would remember the blood that Jesus shed for our sins and our salvation. God bless you. I hope you join me back again tomorrow for part two.